Hey guys, this is me, 80s from 144. So I do want to do a quick match reaction to Real Madrid 2, also Suno 1, guys. Real Madrid wins the Copa del Rey for the first time since I was in 14, guys. Nine years, man. It's been a very long time. And would you guys believe it? This is actually the first time Tony Cruz has actually won the Copa del Rey. He wasn't there in 2014, of course. And so for Real Madrid, man, you know, obviously as a Barca fan, I was obviously rooting for Osasuna for obvious reasons. And But you have to give it credit to Real Madrid because... What they did today was spectacular. The way they played as a unit was commendable. And I want to give a shout out to some individual performances, which we'll get onto a bit later. But I want to start first off saying with Osasuna, man. What an achievement this is to be in the Copa del Rey final. You know? And yes, they lost the final. And you know, it's you know, it's to be expected though, because they're playing up against Real Madrid, which is one of the best teams in the world. You know, one of the best teams in Spain. And it's always difficult to be playing against Real Madrid, you know, how class they are, and especially in a final, it's very difficult. And for Osasuna, man, I, I was really happy how they approached the game, because it it's they could have easily approached the game by, like, counterattacking Real Madrid, just, you know, like, park the bus, hit them on the counterattack, frustrate them. But instead, they played a very open attacking football. And while at times I do think that actually hurt them defensively, I do think that has made them a bit vulnerable defensively, they had to go to Real Madrid. They made things difficult for Real Madrid. They defended pretty well for most of the game, and they put out a great performance. You know, my issue with Osasuna though is just their attack is where that's really my concern, and this is why I saw throughout the season is that this is the thing with Osasuna is that they're a good, well organized team. It's just attacking wise is not very, very good, and that's where I have a lot of question marks over Osasuna. And for me, that goal from Torre was spectacular. What a goal that was from long range! What a beautiful goal that was. It quite wasn't enough to win it. But as I said, they, they put up a good performance. You know, Abde, for me, was a good. Um, I think he kind of disappointed the second half, though. I was kind of hoping more from Abde. And like I said, for Osasuna, man, they put out a great performance, man. Great, great performance. Now, let's get back to Real Madrid. Real Madrid, man, what is there to say? Vinicius Jr., me, he, for me personally, he was a man of the match. I thought he was excellent going forward today. You know, causing the defensive issues of Osasuna, making the Osasuna backline struggle at times. And they weren't able to keep up with him. You know, his pace was so much on the day. You know, and obviously I know a lot of credit will be given to Rodrigo for scoring the two goals. And rightfully so, of course. Rodrigo was great on the day, of course. But for me, real credit to give to Vinicius because for me, he was fantastic. Dribbling through the left flank, causing so many issues for their fullbacks and defense. And I just thought for me, he was excellent. Look at the goal, first goal, man. He was able to get past the defense and make and put it there for a tapping. And tapping for Rodrigo. And the second goal, man. You know, spectacular build up the play, then gave it to Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz hit the initial shot, and Rodriguez gets on the end of the rebound, you know? And then I want to talk about Carvajal, man. Carvajal, for me, is a player that I think he's so underappreciated, guys. I think he's so underrated. This guy has been so phenomenal at the right back position today. He was fantastic. Defensively, he was world class. He made that goal line clearance for that uh, Abde chance. And then remember, right at the end, he made that crucial block. For me, Carvajal is a player that I think Real Madrid fans should be respecting more. And I think even general fans should be respecting more. Because say what you will. Say he's declined and everything, which is true. He's not the same Carvajal from a few years ago. But this Carvajal is still good. He's still putting the crosses to the box. He's still putting that... He's still... He still has that passion. That hunger for Real Madrid. And he still shows up in these big games. Because remember guys, last season in Champions League, he made those two crosses... For Rodrigo to score those goals against Manchester City, he was influential in that regard. So for me, Carvajal, for me, I think he might be a big game player. You know, he may not be so consistent throughout your league games and all, but when it comes to these big games, a cup final, a Champions League knockout match, the guy always comes in, you know. And for me, for Real Madrid, they just looked amazing today. I will say, though, some disappointments. I thought Militao, for me, was probably one of the most disappointing players today. Today, he wasn't particularly great. Obviously, Abde got the better of him for that chance. Obviously, I know, you know, it didn't get, you know, they didn't concede because of him. But I still feel like Militao, for me, had a bit of a rough day on the day. He wasn't particularly that great. And the Benzema, for me, was largely underwhelming. Kamavinga, for me, wasn't particularly that great. Um, and yeah, for Real Madrid, man, I mean, it, it's it's a good win, 2-1 win for them, and it's going to come down to the Champions League, because like I said, guys, Real Madrid have to win the Champions League this season to have to be considered a successful season, because if they just win the Copa del Rey and the domestic trophies like UEFA Super Cup, Club World Cup, this season will go down as a failure. It will go down as a failure, you know, and I just think for me, it's going to be very interesting to see how Real Madrid approaches the Champions League, of course. That match will be on Tuesday, guys. So it should be very fascinating to see 
what they do against Manchester City. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Anything you disagree with me in the comments, please let me know. Like I said, like this video, enjoy. Subscribe if you're new out here. Comment down below your thoughts, comment section below. Remember, guys, check out my publications in the description below. And yeah, consider becoming a member of the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.